it out. The germs that cause tuberculosis grow in the lungs of the person who has the disease. The germs are very small. Whoever comes close to the mouth of the person who has tuberculosis is likely to pick up some of the germs. And once the germs are in the mouth of a healthy person, they may find their way into the lung. This is how the seed of tuberculosis is planted. A mother kissing her child, a sneeze or a cough, sleeping together, sick people spit on the ground, a child later picks up the germs on his fingers and carries them to his mouth. A sick person can be healed, but in the meantime, he spreads the disease to many other persons with whom he comes in contact. If he is cared for in a sanatorium, his diseases cannot spread. But what can I do? We will send Consuela to a sanatorium and there she will get well. Yes, I have seen them. They are beautiful, but we are poor. Those places are for rich people, not for people like us. No, no, they're for all. All people in an enlightened community know that tuberculosis is not only a personal misfortune, but that it threatens every household. Tuberculosis knows no line of race, religion, or social status. So people gladly support a sanatorium, knowing that thereby their own children will be protected. That sounds reasonable. But can my Consuelo be taken to such a place? Certainly. I will have one of the nurses of the health department come to you and make arrangements to take Consuelo to the sanatorium. Thank you, doctor. Never mind. But there is one more thing. Juan and Maria must be examined also. Tuberculosis, in its early stages, is without symptoms, so don't forget to bring them here. I will make a tuberculin test first, and if that shows that the germs are in their bodies, then they too must be x-rayed. It didn't hurt. Everybody's talking about you and your daughter. Is she really in one of those sanatoriums? Yes. And how did you do it? I listened and did what the doctor told me. I think you sold your soul to the dead. What did you mean? Oh, in order to make people do what you want them to do. Oh, that is exactly what I did. You mean that? Of course not. You are the most ignorant man I ever saw. I listened and I learned. That is the trouble with you. You are ignorant and won't learn. You're just as ignorant as I am. What you can learn, I can learn too. Pig! Yes. You hungry pig to spit on the floor. Of all rotten things to do, to spit on the floor. You dumbbell. What is the matter with you, Lope? I spit where I like, so do you. I do not. I know better. Let me show what the doctor explained to me. I have a book, and I want you to see it at yourself. Come on. Is she really going to be well again? Of course. She's looking splendid. She's getting stronger every day. Every day, Miss Odis? Certainly. Why do you ask? She has been at the sanatorium for nearly a year. That's a lot of days. She sure must be powerful strong by now. One. You surely have all figured out. How do you do, nurse? You are so nice to come so often. Well, I have to look after all of you. Consuelo and the doctor always ask about it. Children are doing fine. Fresh air, good food, plenty of rest, fresh vegetables, you see? We grow them ourselves. That's fine, Mr. Lopez. 
The doctor asked me to remind you, however, that it's been nearly a year since Juan and Maria were examined, and he wants you to bring them in again. Certainly. But would you mind to come to my home and tell me how is Consuelo? That's a good girl. Well, you'll be going home soon, aren't you, Glad? Of course. But, but what? I don't know how I can thank all of you. Oh, is that nice? I wonder what it could be. Two years have passed since you left the sanatorium. You have been a good girl. I find that the lung is well healed. Now you may marry, but remember... Remember, Doctor, the last time we were here, how I remarked to you that these are a very happy people, and now I add, a very healthy people.